our longest trusted English newspaper since 1898. Now available digitally. Computer, order the Manila Times Digital Edition. Subscribed. Get the Manila Times Digital Edition for less than 2 pesos and 50 centavos per day when you sign up for one year. The Manila Times, new source of choice, trusted since 1898. Good day! Here are the stories for the Manila Times for Tuesday, June 21, 2022. The Department of Health on Monday reported an 82% increase in COVID-19 cases in the country. In its weekly case bulletin, the DOH said 3,051 cases were reported from June 13 to 19, or a daily average of 436 cases. This is 82% higher than the cases reported from June 6 to 12. Health Undersecretary and Spokesman Maria Rosario Vergara said the National Capital Region, or Metro Manila, is particularly experiencing a start in the peak in the number of cases, similar to the spikes in September 2021 and January 2022, driven by the Delta and Omicron variants. Vergara made it clear that the current trend cannot be referred to as a surge, and doing so will only confuse the public. She attributed the increase of cases to the Omicron subvariants, increased mobility, and the waning immunity of the population due to the slow administration of booster vaccines. Out of 55 million Filipinos eligible for booster shots, only 14 million have received booster doses. President-elect Ferdinand Bongbo Marcos Jr. on Monday will temporarily act as the Secretary of the Department of Agriculture to address the most pressing concern of the agriculture sector. In a press briefing, the incoming leader said the problem in the agriculture sector is severe. His decision to head the agriculture department was not only to make it clear with the high priority they put on the agriculture sector, but also as a practical matter, so things will move quickly, he added. Among his plans is to rebuild the value chain of agriculture, and one way to reach this is tweaking the DA's organization structure. Vice President-elect and incoming Education Secretary Sara Duterte Carpio plans to resume full face-to-face -face classes in the next school year. Outgoing Education Secretary Leonor Briones said the Department of Education wants all schools returning to physical classes for school year 2022-2023. The Education Department has reported that as of June 16, 32,787 public schools and 1,063 private schools have reverted to face-to-face -to -face classes. In a press briefing on Monday, Duterte Carpio said she will be meeting with DepEd officials on June 25 to arrange the transition from online schooling. Duterte Carpio also said she will follow the initiatives of the current administration for more benefits for teachers. Okada Manila's bank accounts have been frozen because of the intra-corporate dispute in Tiger Resort Leisure and Entertainment Incorporated, the operator of the casino hotel and resort located in Paranaque City. The legal counsel of TRLEI, Estrella El Amparo, said the banking institutions involved in the freezing of Okada Manila's accounts included BDO Unibank, Asia United Bank, and Union Bank of the Philippines. With the status quo anti-order issued by the Supreme Court last April, the banks have become more prudent in dealing with the financial transactions of Okada Manila, El Amparo said. BDO in particular also required the previous board, led by Hajime Tokuda and Byron Yip, and the one constituted by Kazuo Okada, led by Filipino businessmen Antonio Cojuanco and Dindo Espeleta, to sign an agreement to disperse the salaries of Okada Manila employees. In business, the Philippine peso further depreciated, reaching the 54 peso per dollar level on Monday. The local currency closed at 54.065 pesos to a dollar on Monday, weaker than the 53 pesos and 75 centavos closing last Friday, June 17. This is the weakest performance since the 54 pesos and 8 centavos per dollar closing on October 12, 2018. Monday's close also already exceeded the upper end of the government's 50 to 53 pesos to $1 peso dollar exchange rate forecast for the year. Topping sports, the National University goes for the season sweep and championship when it faces De La Salle University in Game 2 of the University Athletic Association of the Philippines Season 84 Women's Volleyball Finals at the SM Mall of Asia Arena today. Game is set at 6.30pm after the awarding ceremonies for individual plums. The Lady Bulldogs have won all 15 games this season, including the 25-20, 25-12, 25-21 sweep of the Lady Spikers in Game 1 last Saturday. Drawing MVP chants from NU fans, super rookie Bella Belen led the way for NU in that game with 15 points on top of 13 excellent receptions. Antonio Contreras and Diem Macabenta are today's front page columnists. Contreras laments on unequal justice, while Macabenta compares the rise of Bongbo Marcos to the likes of two former prime ministers. Today's editorial tackles modest proposals for culture and the arts. 
read a full version on the paper's opinion section or listen to the voice of the times. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print. Subscribe to its digital edition or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram and keep up with the times. On behalf of the Manila Times, this is Eric John Seco reporting. Have a safe Tuesday ahead.